Tonight on Documentify TV. In this frozen world, one element means the difference between life and death. Fire, humanity's ancient ally, a source of warmth, light, protection, and cooked food. We assume our ancestors mastered fire in this icy crucible, but finding concrete proof, clear, undisturbed fireplaces from the heart of the deep freeze is extraordinarily rare. Scattered charcoal tells us something burned, but how? What did their hearths truly look like? The details remained elusive, lost to time. Until now, deep in the Dniester River Valley of Ukraine, at a site called Corman 9, archaeologists have unearthed remarkable evidence, peeling back layers of time to reveal secrets locked away for millennia. Here, layers dating precisely to the LGM, between 23,000 and 21,000 years ago, preserved the subtle traces of the Epigravetian people, hunter-gatherers clinging to existence on the edge of the ice. And within these layers, fire. But these weren't elaborate stone-lined pits. What the researchers found was surprisingly simple. Open, flat hearths. Just features created directly on the ground surface. Were these fleeting campfires or something more? Microscopic analysis unlocked the story. Hearth CF1 revealed distinct layers. At the bottom, a reddish zone. Earth literally baked by intense heat, reaching temperatures up to 600 degrees Celsius, hot enough to suggest a substantial fuel source. Above this baked earth, a rich black layer packed with charcoal. Analysis identified the fuel, wood, pine and spruce, trees surprisingly available in this river valley refuge, even during the LGM. This was a single, intense fire event, hot enough to alter the ground beneath it, then left to burn down. Nearby, Hearth CF2 told a different story. Also flat, also open, but thinner. Crucially, under the microscope, its black layer contained less identifiable wood charcoal. Instead, researchers found amorphous black nodules. Organic material, yes, but its origin less clear. Was a different fuel used here? Dried grasses? Dung? Or was the fire simply managed differently? The simplicity of both hearths is itself a clue. In this challenging environment, perhaps mobility and efficiency were key. Why build complex structures when a simple, flat fire served the immediate need? It speaks to adaptability, to resource management under extreme stress. But the story doesn't end there. Time and nature worked on these abandoned hearths. The relentless mixing by worms and roots, the fracturing caused by freeze-thaw cycles, the slow creep of soil down slopes, all subtly altered the evidence. Deciphering this requires painstaking science, understanding how the archaeological record itself is a dynamic, changing entity. What we see today is the original fire signature, overprinted by millennia of natural processes. Corman 9 provides an incredibly rare, detailed snapshot. It confirms wood was a vital fuel source, even deep in the Ice Age. It reveals simple, effective fire technology suited to a mobile existence. It hints at different fire uses, perhaps even different groups, using the same site. These humble hearths are more than just burnt earth. They're windows into the ingenuity and resilience of our ancestors. They're proof that even against a frozen planet, human life and ingenuity endured. What other subtle adaptations do you think allowed them to survive the deep freeze? That's it for today's video, folks. See you next time, right here on Documentify TV.